Overwhelmed? So am I. Hi all, it's Gord here, your hurtin' hippie, with another edition of Coffee Break Sessions. I've been up since five. I've I've had one of those really strange days. The the C B D is in effect. You know, it's nine now, I think. Um the C B D is in effect and helping me concentrate a little better. But I just have so many things on the go and I have been so sick in the mornings that I just don't want to do them all. I did really good. The month of January, I did really well, I think. I I took things that in November and December had been piling up and I was overwhelmed and I took them all on and I got them all done. Now... I'm just maybe getting back there and maybe that's what's getting to my brain is I I have a few things that need done that aren't planned and to an anxious person I think the most important thing is getting things planned I feel better when I have a list in front of me um, I should clean off my desk and make a new list because when I have a list I start checking things off I always seem to t tend to try to go towards no paper no you know do everything on your phone but unless i have a list google provides lists but they don't just pop up they aren't always in front of your face that's why a good piece of paper by where you sit is a good idea write things down point form organize them every day reorganize them because what's a priority yesterday and didn't get done may not be a priority today to get done over other things that were already planned to a fibromyalgic to to anybody who has chronic issues up here depression anxiety ptsd being focused is difficult cbd helps a lot better than any of those other pills that make you into a zombie can't focus them they they just take away the pain up there but they don't provide the focus CBD takes away most of the pain and provides focus but nothing's a hundred percent and having that lack of clarity that lack of ability to pinpoint your thoughts can be rather demoralizing and when it's constant uh, fibro fog can hit you for weeks and sometimes months sometimes only days my last bout was about a week and my dog's barking to get in it's minus 14 outside so her little tootsies are cold so I'm going to get back to you I'm going to let this go a little bit early but I want to talk about how do you cope with those overwhelming feelings how often do you get them that you just feel like you got too much to do not enough time to do it and or enough energy to do it you know i just got out of the shower and i'm going to tell i wanted to share this poor puppy <laughs> i wanted to share this is that it's been about a year now the shower used to be my friend as a fibromyalgic the hot water beating on your back, beating on your neck, beating on your chest. Chest pain is horrible with fibro. Um, was just beautiful. Sometimes the heat would provide some anxiety, but really not too often. For the past year, I a shower is difficult. I still enjoy the sensation, but I can barely raise my arms above my shoulders anymore. And so therefore washing my hair whether it's short or long has become rather difficult I finish a shower just like I just did a little while ago and I'm tired I need a nap after a shower a shower used to be very very soothing now it's a chore I have two baths a day that I love and one shower that I just don't like anymore Maybe I can find better ways to wash my hair or to handle the things above the shoulders. Another thing to think about, overwhelmed. See, my, my brain, and I'm still forgetting my dog. I gotta go, peace and cheers, love and harmony.